Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use MailChimp to send out an email newsletter. And I promise it is quick. So today we're going to create an email newsletter in MailChimp. So if you go to MailChimp.com and you click either sign up free or login. Now I already have a login, so I'm just going to go to the login page. But you can easily create an account for free. And then once you log in or create your account, you'll be brought to the main sort of dashboard area that shows you all your stats. And if you've never sent out a campaign, you probably won't see a whole lot of information. So if you want to create a campaign, simply click on campaign. And it's very easy. You can choose from any templates. So let's create a campaign here. Now, these are all of the different newsletters I've sent out. Now, to be easy, um, we're just going to create a regular campaign. So you just select that. And all we're doing here, so I actually already have lists. So we're just going to choose one of our lists here. And when you send out a campaign, you can choose to send to the entire list, uh, like a group or a segment, or you can um, send to like a saved segment. So we're just going to click next over on the side here that you can't really see. So you choose your list, and if you don't have a list, if you have emails saved in an Excel spreadsheet, you can actually upload that. So we're just going to call this test, just because we're doing a test, and we're not going to actually send this campaign out. What you want to do regularly is name your campaign, and then choose a really great email subject line so that people are going to open it. So here you can actually save different um, templates. You can code your own um, template, or you can just use one of the themes that are already in MailChimp. So you have some really nice options. So let's just select this one. It has a nice big image, some information here. And you can actually just do a Word newsletter if you want. Visuals are nice to um, grab people's attention, but they can also... There can be some issues with people not seeing the images. You want to make sure that you have text or alt text. So once you load up a template here, you can customize all different areas. So all you have to do is simply click on the different areas and then you can customize it. So for example, here, click on the little pencil button and then you can change this text to be whatever you want. So let's just change this text and it's going to update over here so when you're happy with that you can just simply save that and close now if you decide you want to change this template a little bit and you want to add some box text for example you simply drag and drop to wherever you want in your newsletter so we drag it here you edit your box text and then you save and close and it updates it over here. So it's very easy to customize. Um, if, for example, you want to change this section, you want to change these boxes, all you do is edit, change it over here on the right-hand side. So you can um, change this link by hitting this link button. You can link to a page on your website, change all this information. It's very much like a Word document you can replace all the images by clicking replace here. And then when I mentioned the alt text, that's important so that if for some reason someone opens their email newsletter and they can't see the images, they're going to see this alt text. So you would label this nomad office set for sale or something like that. A good description so that people know what this image is supposed to be. So when you're happy with that, you save and close it. Okay. So if you want to preview your newsletter, there's a really great option up here to enter preview mode, send a test email, and then you can also save your template. And then over here, you can't see on my screen, but you can save and exit if you want to work on it later. Now, if you're happy with your newsletter, over here, there's a next button that you can't see on the screen. You click on that. And once you're happy with your newsletter, you want to send it out, make sure that you double check that you're sending to the right list. Your subject line is um, all set up. And then you would just go down here on the side and click send. 
So it's very easy to note an email newsletter in MailChimp. And that's all I have for you.